The environmental systems teacher at Wasako East High School is planting seeds in the future lives of her students. We learn about more about the environment, you know, like going green. That's one thing Ms. Grotto started doing, going green. This school was honestly never green, and ever since like she worked, started working the school, she became more greener, and like I guess it's a she's making a difference in the school. And over there, Jenna Grado and her two environmental system classes are going green. They've decided to renovate the original Wasago East Garden. Got the black line, because this black line is what's going to connect. As 21st century learners, Grado knows students do not retain information through the outdated structure of sitting in rows and being lectured by the teacher. She says taking the students outside and allowing them to see exactly how ecology, plant life, and how the sun and soil contribute to the growth of living plants is a better learning experience for her students. It allows them to be outside and get out of that learning environment to where they're sitting down in a chair and and doing book work and you know sometimes they don't always like that so it gets them out of that environment and gets them doing something nice for the school. The environmental systems class offered by Wesleyan East is designed to teach students about global environmental issues that are relevant in our modern society. Global warming, lack of energy conservation and air pollution are just some of the issues affecting our earth today. Students in class will learn about the pros and cons of certain waste management systems and the growing need to develop clean and reusable energy sources. It's helping me learn a lot about the environment. It's, it helps teach more than just gardening and stuff. It's a little bit over there on that side. The class also teaches students about how fragile the world is ecologically and how the simple act of growing your own food can be means of surviving. We learn a lot of stuff that's going on around the world, like the Fukushima, and just a bunch of things like like why it's good to have a garden in case anything happens i mean they run out of food anywhere you have your own garden you have your own food to run off of it's like the only red one out of all these green jalapenos according to grado every student is assigned a planter the student's plant consists of herbs corn celery lettuce and chili peppers i planted some corn we've all planted corn planted celery the stuff that we plant um, we've taken it out and we've used it. We've cooked with it already. We've made, uh, what did we make? I think we made beef caldo and it was, it was pretty good. We designed our own drip irrigation system. It should turn on right now. The kids had to design their own drip irrigation and they had to provide me with three different ways of actually um, creating a functional sprinkler system or drip irrigation system. Ms. Grado says she has students do research about environmental issues affecting the world. Students then write reports about their finding, and after, they put their results to the test by experimenting in the garden. Their next project will be um, to turn part of their planter, they're all assigned different planters, to turn part of their planter into a project area where they'll test certain things like um, homemade pesticides, which is our next goal, uh, on areas of their planters and see if their remedy or their, their concoction works. Resources for the garden are supplied by local businesses such as Mid Valley Garden Supply, Lowe's, the A&M Citrus Center, and of course, the school district's contribution through labor and materials to help build planters and eventually a fence that will protect the garden. A 4-H project grant awarded to Wasago East from the Texas AgriLife Extension in partnership with JCPenney's also helped fund the garden. Our carrot's a little crazy looking, but, but it's a carrot. But it's a carrot. It's exciting to see them actually see the fruit and vegetables grow and they love it. Environmental systems is an elective class for juniors and seniors. Most students in the class say it has changed their way of thinking. I used to litter a lot and I didn't care, just throw whatever, but now that I think how it's affecting our environment and the ozone, I think it's very important to start recycling and instead of, instead of cutting trees, let's make, build more trees. I've been recycling for a while, but the, like just the stuff I can do with all the things I recycle, um, it, it makes me want to do more, and, like change everything else and just help a lot more. Oh. Demonstrate and then I want you guys to take off with it, okay? Grado is in her own way a lesson in reusable energy. She's a graduate of Wasako High School and now in her first year of teaching at Wasako East. The knowledge and skills she gained in high school along with her college degree is now paying forward. 
Estrada could potentially affect the lives of thousands of Wasago students during her teaching career by providing each one with an improved environmental sense of awareness. Grado is a perfect example of how one teacher can make a difference and change the world. It's really fun. She's a good teacher. She's a really good teacher. Um, and you'll learn a lot. It'll change, it'll change your life. It's a it's very good class. The environmental systems class is another example of how Wetsuko ISD is preparing students for the real world. Not only does this class teach students about the Earth's environment, but makes them more aware of future green choices as a growing adult. For KWS TV, I'm Heather Arevalo.